Hello, I am Dr. Larissa Applegate, one of the pediatricians here at Pediatrics West. I will be joined by Dr. Shen Nagel momentarily. We want to take a few minutes to review our commitment to you and your children. But before I do that, I would like to say a sincere thank you for myself and everyone here at Pediatrics West. You have reached out and provided words of kindness and support during these times of uncertainty. It speaks volumes to us and it also speaks to your trust and confidence in our practice and our ability to provide care to your children and to the community. It will continue to bolster us through these times of uncertainty and we will be able to continue to do what we are, what we are most passionate about and that is the health and well-being of your children. We believe it is imperative that we continue to offer our services. We are doing our best to follow the recommendations for social distancing, and we believe that if we as a practice model and, ad and adhere to the advice of social distancing and stay-at-home orders, the spread of this virus will slow. We want you and your child to stay home as much as possible, and we will continue to provide best medical practice for your children. Here are a few ways that we are able to do this. We have two office locations. This allows us to separate sick visits from our well visits. For our well checks and physicals, we are currently giving priority scheduling to newborns through the age of 18 to 24 months, and also to four and five year olds who are due for immunizations. We are offering these visits at our Littleton location only, and this is Monday through Friday from 8.30 a.m. until 3 p.m. We will also be offering older kiddo well-child visits Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. through 5 p.m. Our Wheat Ridge location we are dedicating to our sick visits only. If your child is sick, we ask you to call our office so we can best determine what type of visit is most appropriate as we have multiple ways to see your child. We will determine if you need to come into our office or if you can stay home and see a medical provider via real-time video conferencing. This is also known as telehealth. Telehealth visits are medical visits with a provider from the comfort and safety of your own home and we will use a video application called Zoom. We will work together to assess your child over the video telehealth encounter, and we will also use our telehealth encounters for consults for ADHD or other concerns such as behavioral or mental health. If we determine your child needs to come into the office, say for concerns about strep throat or an ear infection, we do have the ability to have this medical visit done in our drive up clinic in our parking lot. You and your child will see a medical provider while you remain in the car. We have a trailer set up with all of the medical supplies needed to do these types of visits. If we determine your child needs to come into the office and into an exam room, we have procedures in place to do this appropriately by having separate entrances and exits and procedures depending on your child's symptoms. You will notice that all of our medical providers will be wearing masks. This is for both well and sick visits. And this is also for all of the visits that are done in the parking lot. This is to protect both you and your child and us. All medical care is considered essential travel. So if we feel that your child needs to come to the office for an evaluation, we want you to know that that travel to our office is appropriate. Now I will hand it off to Dr. Nagel. We're all adapting to this changing situation at the same time as you, and as things evolve, we thought we'd give you some of our advice and perspective, both as your children's pediatricians, but also as parents. First off, listen to your public health officials and local government officials. As the situations evolve, social distancing um, and sheltering at home are the best way we have to minimize the spread of the disease. They will be your best sources of information throughout this endeavor. What can you do with your kids when you're stuck at home? Get outside. 
that's the best place to be right now. Playgrounds may be out, group play may be out, but you can run around the park with your kids, go for bike rides, go for hikes, explore, let your kids guide that play. If you're stuck at home, inside, play games. It's way easier to be cooped up inside if you're doing something fun. Listen to music, good music. Make music, do art. Drawing, painting, sidewalk art can bring a little joy in these dark times. Um, read, reading's always good. Read books together, let them read books alone. Cook together, make something good and have fun at the end of the day eating it. If you're at home with your kids, get involved in their online learning. Don't worry about being the best teacher around, just be involved. Some of that may be school-based, but a lot of it may just be you guys together, finding something you're interested in, being curious, and learning about it together. It's going to be a lot better to get to the end of this and realize family was all together and we had fun. Um, and don't worry about the family was all together and I learned everything I needed to learn in third grade. Remember that your kids are aware of what's going on. They sense things. They're much more cognizant of what's going on emotionally than they might be able to express. So be willing to talk with these things, with, about these things with your kids. Listen to them, hear them out, let them express their frustrations, their anxieties, their concerns about why they don't get to play with their friends, or why they don't have a problem, or why they didn't get to go on that school trip. Kids are going to miss their friends, so if you can set up times through Google Playground or FaceTime that they can have a play date or just talk with their friends, that can be helpful. You're going to need your friends and family during this time too, so set up Zoom chats or FaceTime coffee dates. Make time for everyone to have alone time. Set aside times during the day where everybody can be off doing their own thing. We all need some time away from everyone, and being cooped up is going to create a lot of time right next to each other. So make time for each other alone. We don't want to remember this as the time we were all cooped up together and everyone was fighting all the time. If you can avoid daycare, that's probably the safest thing to do. But if it's unavoidable, just take precautions to keep it as safe as possible from a health standpoint. Remember that our kids are less likely to get severe disease, but they can bring it home to parents or grandparents who might be more at risk. So always wash your hands frequently and well. When you pick your kids up, wash your hands. If you come home from the store or come home from work, wash your hands before giving them a hug. But remember that hugs aren't part of social distancing. Give the hugs frequently and often at home. If you have any questions about all of this, just give us a call. We can talk you through some of these concerns and questions, give you advice about health. From all of us at Pediatrics West, stay healthy.